What is that white stuff out there? We got snow in season? Farming similar? Seasons is here? No way. As you guys can see, Seasons is here for Farm Sim. Uh, a lot of the guys that are just crazy hardcore farming love it for other aspects rather than the snow. Obviously, now you have you have summer, you have fall, you have winter, you have spring now. And you can actually, because a lot of farming is around different types of seasons, right? And so it actually makes it a lot more realistic with having seasons in a game. And so this is snow. Now, a couple things I'll kind of, there's a lot of different things. There's a lot of different mods to kind of get snow on the ground, right? But I'm going to basically be snow plowing this whole episode. And we're going to be testing out some snow plows. Now, right now for farm sim, there's not that many out there. I got to, dude, imagine expendables though. Once, I know they're working on a couple. But the trucks they create and the snow plows they'll probably create is just going to be insane. It'll be cool. We'll have like, I'm assuming we'll have like boss snow plows on the front of us, like some of these trucks. I know this isn't even made by Expendables. That truck's like private still, but oh man, it's going to be crazy. So I'm going to round up the best equipment possible for snow plowing. I can't, there is no snow plow for a truck yet. Unless I have a three point attachment. If I have a three point attachment, I can do it. But some ideas I have is a skid loader. Obviously, skid loader, you have your bucket for it. And where do I get this? Wait, there's a plow on the front of that. Can I get a plow? Can a brother get a plow on this? Did this pack come with a plow? I pallet forks, extra long length, bail handler. Okay, maybe it didn't come with a plow, but uh, wait a sec. Maybe there is a plow for the CSM skid loader. I think the guy has one. Obviously, he had it in game, uh, CSM modding. So I'm not sure where that plow is. I have no idea how to get that plow. Maybe, ha, huh, huh. I wonder, I'll have to talk to CSM, see what he says about that. But, so this skid loader, I think is gonna be perfect. I wonder how this is gonna work out actually. So stock lifter, I'm gonna go heavy lifter. I'm always going heavy lifter. We'll go max weight on this skid loader. Now you can get a front loader or you can get a wheel loader and so, I think that, but the thing is, I think the snowplow for this, I think this, the snowplow that I'm going to get, that's like one of the only ones out there. I could, there's a couple of things I could get. Well, I could always switch it around. For now, I'm going to go stock. I'll show you guys why. Um, okay. The thing is, do you go tracks or go tire? Okay. We're definitely going snow chains. We're going snow chains on this. Now I was thinking, a lot of you guys are probably thinking squad, go tracks on the skid loader. It's snow, man. Heck squad. You got these high clearance tracks Do these, but I didn't know this. I just realized this a couple months ago. I was like, I'm, I'm always interested in just watching like all different types of YouTube videos. I came across this guy that was comparing tracks and, and wheels. And a lot of people, I guess, I didn't I didn't realize this at all, but tracks are horrible in the snow. They don't, you would think tracks are amazing in the snow. They're horrible. And so that's why you see a lot of guys go with wheeled machines over tracks, especially when you're on cement following with tracks. It's not that good. I didn't realize that. I was always thinking tracks are just like so much better in the snow, but I guess not. So I'm gonna go with metal chains, that's perfect. Okay, there we go, we're set, we're ready to go on this. Um, but now what I'm gonna do is there's a three point attachment for the skid loader, it's a mod that I downloaded. Let's see if I can find this thing. Oh wait, there is a blade, oh, this, okay, so for the, oh okay, this is gonna actually be really good. If, I wonder how this is gonna work, I wonder if I could put this on the skid loader, let me think about this. How is this attached, three point? two point i don't know if that's ever going to fit on there but i do have that case car and tractor which will work good too this is the blade i was going to go with it's a three point blade though and i don't know if i can fit this on the skid loader i think it'd be it'd do a lot better on the wheel loader but this is what i was going to go with so now i need a three point conversion so i can fit that blade on there okay so here's the skid loader adapter it goes for everything so this will work for i think this plow i can get this plow to work for anything so I'm gonna put it on the skid loader. It's gonna be a little small on the skid loader. Not gonna lie, but let's go grab that plow. Okay, 16 grand. We'll start with the skid loader and we may have to work our way up. Now, one other thing I'd like to buy is I think the case quad track can do this. I'm pretty sure it can. So I wanna take this row track one and I think I can get three points. Yes, okay, perfect. So this is gonna work. <laughs> this is gonna be a beast for this. Let's go. Now, I guess tracks aren't that good. So I'm just going to go some medium 24 inch tracks. Uh, we can put some weights in the front. Let's go a max. So 500 for this one. There is a, I think there's a 620 quad track too. But I'm going to do this. We can test this out. Okay. And then the last thing is this garden tractor. We're going to put a snow plow on the front of this garden tractor because it comes with one. Let's put the cab on. 
cab perfect front loader attachments no but i need okay i think it'll just go on okay what what tires are we gonna go with this duels man let's go with some kind of aggressive at, oh dude that would be actually pretty cool um oh man that that would be really sick for this okay let's just go some normal ag tires on there um perfect okay we should be good there and th wait does this come with a snow power or a snow blower i think this might Maybe not. No, no, no. I don't think it does. Okay, so I bought the equipment. <laughs> Look at that case compared to the big quad track, man. Um, oh, wait. So I need to buy one more plow. If I want this to work correctly, we got to get one more plow, which is in miscellaneous. Miscellaneous. There we go. So we're going to buy one more plow for this. So I'll put one on the case quad track and one on the bobcat. Obviously, the case quad track's probably going to run it a little better. <laughs> Okay, here we go, dude. I was kind of wondering the first test was going to be driving in the trucks in the snow, but I guess it's going to be the garden tractor. Um, where is our plow? Oh, we haven't bought the plow yet. That's right. Okay, I got to buy the little plow for this little guy. There we go. There's the blade. Purchase that. And I wonder if you guys like me going through the, running through the menus, like on how, I, how I'm purchasing stuff. I wonder if you guys actually like that or not. Because I always like to show the customization stuff of it. Holy crap. Okay, what is this? Like, six inches of snow? No, this is probably a foot of snow. That's definitely a good foot of snow, I'd say. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna hook up to the blade. There we go. I know I'm gonna have a ton of questions on how people, like, or how I can get this, or how you can, if you, can you get this on console? Anything like that. I'm not even gonna answer, because I don't, I'm not gonna answer any of those questions right now. You'll have to find it somewhere else, because I always get the wrong information, and I'm not fully sure on if you can get this for console, if you can get snow how that all works so i'm not going to say anything right now uh just because i'm not an expert and i'm I, I play the game a lot but i'm not fully sure on on how it all works right now okay so we're gonna see how this works with the skid letter we for sure just gotta clean up this lot at least but then i want to like go into town mow some like dealerships mow the john deere dealership i know in town mow it with a quad or not mow it but plow it with a quad track <laughs> i'm not saying mow it Okay, dude, we're connected, man. Okay, so, okay, this isn't going to work the best, but I'm going to try it out anyways. I can tell this isn't going to work the best. But let me, oh, man, I got to move those, let's move those trucks out of the way. Let's move those back so we can get a good start right from inside the shed. Dude, I love this truck, and I have these here because I plan to load up the skid loader, like garden tractor and stuff on trailer, and then go mow a dealership. So that's why I have these trucks here. We're going to use them, we're going to get a trailer. That was the goal. Who knows? I'm also going to see how they do in the snow. Because I, I got some giant tires on these. It'll do good, I think. Okay, let's see how this big puppy handles it. The skid loader's a little undersized for this big a blade. Oh, no way. It's kind of pushing it. I love the animations going on. Okay, whoever made these, I am down for these animations. That looks sweet. What happens when I tilt it up? I'm really curious about these physics. Okay, so I'm going to, right away, I'm going to stop using the skid, or I'm going to, yeah, stop using the skid loader. And I want to use something that can actually handle this really well. So I wonder if I could, uh, for now, I'm going to stop using the skid loader. Yeah, we could get a bucket on the skid loader, but the skid loader is just not made to handle this big a thing. We're just going to shut that off and leave that there. I, I'm really excited to use the skid loaders, but once we actually get attachments that are like fully made for it. So right now, I'm thinking the beast, the quad track is going to be perfect. One thing I want to do is maybe go some narrower tracks that aren't, that aren't as wide because those are gonna I don't know if the plow will cover those wide tracks or not <laughs> don't get stuck don't get stuck okay there we go we're connected to it let's lift that up okay it is lifted up perfect come on come on quad track okay there we go so here we here we have it I need actually more like these tracks are row track and so they're a little too wide for this for now i'm going to use it but if i was really to get a nice setup i wouldn't want these wide tracks okay i'm just going to make a pass straight out through here it's working it is working you can see it leaves a little behind that's cool i'll go back and clear that out okay let's get some tilt action going in here There we go, tilt it back. What about up action, up and... Okay, so that's left and right. I saw it move up and down a little bit. 
That is cool, man. You can see it's all pushing it to that left side. That is neat. Snowplow physics are a lot better than FS17 already. And I love the way the plow is animated, man. Because people, whoever makes a plow next, can take this script and then do the same script on their plow. I, I think that would be simple. Maybe, and I, I'm not a modder, so I don't fully understand it, but I'd assume it's kind of like that. Hopefully, somewhat close. I'm going to lift that up. We're going to go back. And I'll push another pile out to the right there. I know I'm pushing across grass right now. It's okay for now. I definitely need some more narrow tracks on this. You can see it barely just fits down the side of here, though. Oh, and then all the tracks are getting dirty. That's kind of cool. Okay. Drop the plow down. Face her to the right. By the way, hey, in case you guys are looking for a PC, don't forget to check out Apex Gaming PCs, man. I got a link down below for 10% off, and now the Squad Plus is back to its regular price. Before, it was $100 off. There's a $100 off sale, and now it's back to, your, to the regular price, but you can get 10% off if you use the Squad Discount Code. Heck, you can use the Squad Discount Code on any PC or anything on their site even to get 10% off. That worked good. That worked good. Okay, so we're going to lift it back, but now I'm going to do one more pass to see if I can scrape off the rest of this snow. Because I want to get the rest of the snow off of here. But this is this is sweet. This is going to work good. I might start hitting some roads if we can. I don't know if we can plow roads if you don't own the road or what. But it would be cool to start hitting some roads. Okay. Back her up. Drop her down. So this is something I may have to start angling. Okay, is it working? Ah, uh, okay, okay, we, I screwed up here. We have to somehow angle this plow down. Let's see what what's all, lower snow plow, okay. Okay, so it seems that I can only do a left and right tilt here. It gets pretty much all the snow off, and it's kind of realistic how it doesn't take just like everything off, but it'd be cool if I could just clear this completely. It's fine for now. See, I want to, you can see how low, it doesn't get, I'm doing something wrong here. I know I can adjust this better. I mean, it's working. She's pushing. It just leaves a little track, which is kind of cool though. It's kind of cool how it leaves just a little bit behind. <laughs> this is neat though, man. This is going to be good for snow plowing once we get some trucks. It's just going to be perfect. Okay, I do want to try out that case, or the, the case little garden tractor quick, too. See how that works. So there's death in here now. With seasons, you have death, if you guys see that. Oh, so there's death. That's right. With the map, it had, like, a death thing that came, like, a placeable death fuel station. And I didn't get that. I didn't put that in the game. I probably should. But as you can see, there's now death with these tractors. Um, in case you guys don't know. Defs for diesels and it stands for diesel exhaust fluid. Um, it was something like a, I guess in the, in the U.S. for sure the U.S. government put like a, I don't know the full details, but they put like a uh, a regulation on it that you have to have def with any newer vehicle or newer diesel vehicle. I think 2013 years, anytime after 2013 is when you and they, when they start implementing it, and I think it's it's illegal to like take the def exhaust system off. It stands for diesel exhaust fluid, but there's kind of the scope. I don't know full regulation or anything on that. I just know it's a requirement. Okay, so this blade I can get all the way to the ground. I can lower that. Now let's tilt this, baby. Please tilt. Yes, you can. I know you can. There we go. Okay, tilt. You can probably lift it up a tad. So my blade's all glitching out. You should get nervous on me. Okay, here we go. Oh, what? Okay, so I don't know if this blade is going to clear snow. It's the tractor making those tracks. Definitely not the blade. Huh. I wonder if I have to, like, turn on the blade? Lift leveler. Okay, so I have no idea what's going on there. Huh. So one thing I'm going to try is the regular bucket for the skid letter. Now, it only holds 1,200 snow. 1,200 liters. 1,200 and, like, 83 liters of snow. So it's gonna fill up insanely quick, but there's some other buckets out there I could get that won't fill up as quick and that have a, have a higher capacity. But we'll see how this goes. Hopefully it'll be able to scrape up this. I'm assuming it will. Come on. 
Okay, so maybe not. Come on. Okay, I can't give that to Scrape Up Snow. Hmm. And I thought it showed in its animations that I'd scrape up snow. Now maybe I'm not doing it correctly. Like all this, I'm new. I'm not I'm not a farm sim god or anything like that. I I I don't play farm sim even that much, to be honest. But as you can see, it does show snow animation, so I'm wondering why that's not working. Um but okay, so what I did too, I was looking for a deer. Like I have all the a couple different different deer mods in here, and this is kind of almost like a testing video to see how these work, but uh, like 9RX 8970 uh, doesn't have three point. Even this AR doesn't have a three point that I could get in here. The front three point attachment. I was thinking at least one of these probably would. Especially the AR. I thought for sure that would have a three point. But as always I could get one. Uh, I don't have the mod right now. But I did have this case magnum. And this did have a three point attachment. So I'm going to hook this up to the plow. And now I put like some narrow tires on this. So it will fit perfectly the plow. Like we won't have any any uh, over tire space. That is a horrible term to describe it, but we won't have any tires sticking over the edge of the plow. It'll fit perfect with the plow is what I mean. Ooh, and it looks like I got this to a perfect level. So the Case Magnum could be our secret right here. There's a ton of other tractors that will do this too. good too. Okay, we we'll turn to the right. As you can see, it's all the way down. <laughs> the question is, does it have the power to push it? There we go, man. The Magnum. Okay, now let me turn on my lights. I have this shader mod. So whenever I hit the shader mod and I hit the home button to turn on the flashers, this always pops up. So I got to get rid of this. And the only way to get rid of it is pushing my home button. But for some reason, the flashers are now on. This is working good, though. Oh, uh, okay. If, if you go too fast, it does start bouncing, which is fairly realistic. I like that. <laughs> okay, let's actually go plow some roads. Do something crazy with it. I'm going to lift this up. This plow works good, though. Okay, so, um, can I, first of all, can I plow roadways? I'm not sure where the full driveway is. It kind of looks like it cuts through those two John Deere signs. So I guess I got to start clearing this parking lot and this could be crazy time lapse. You can do a lot of things with this. There's so much to do once we get to do more plowing. Okay, I'm going to turn to the left. We're going to try to, I'm assuming that's a driveway through there. We might need the quad track through here. It'd be nice if this was a V plow, but man, there we go. Case is slowly plowing through here. I'm assuming this, these two signs will lead to a roadway. They got it. There we go. There's kind of a trail down the middle. It looks like maybe a snowmobile or something went through here. Nice. Now, I don't know what this is, but I'm going to pile this snow, I think, in this parking lot. I think that's what this is. There we go. So for now, I'm going to pile it there. We'll back up. And I'll do one more pass through here. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> But seriously, this is fun because I think, like I played FS17, done a ton of plowing and snow, and the mechanics on this are a ton better than FS17's snow plowing. I'm going to turn to the right. There we go. We're all the way to the right. Now we can start plowing a pass. As you can see, it starts, it starts kind of jumping on me a little bit. There we go. Straighten her up. Lift her up. <laughs> nice dude if we had a plow truck though this is like a ton of snow to be pushing i feel like you'd almost want like a snow blower a snow blower through here this is a lot of snow okay one more pass through here on this left side to really open this up i gotta keep this under 10 mile an hour otherwise this starts just jumping like crazy dude oh by the way so some of you guys are gonna be wondering i think uh yeah a lot of you guys are gonna be wondering like how i got snow so quick it anthony from expendables made a seasons like geo thing uh for winter so right when you if you have seasons in and you have this geo snowy lands mod right when you enter the game there will it will be completely covered in snow so that way you can plow i'll link you guys up to the expendables facebook page where he made that link but i think you're gonna have to be part of the group to get that unless he releases it to like mod hub but that's how i got snow so quick because a lot of you guys are gonna be wondering that 
And then the snowplow, this is like public. Found it on Mod Hub. I'll link you guys up to that too, in case you guys are wondering the snowplow. Okay, one more pass through here. Like, I'm not going to be able to get this whole parking lot done, but one more pass to clear these. See these little snow through here? I want to get that all scraped up. <laughs> I love the animations that this plow brings. Okay, so here, somewhere through here, is the city, right? It's a city driveway. So I'm going to lift this up, or it's a city, the, the city street. And then I'm going to start plowing through here. I don't know where the street stops and starts. But we'll find out. There's buck nuts. What is buck nuts? It's pretty funny though. <laughs> Just got a deer. Buck nuts. It looks like a resort or something. <laughs> Could be like a deer hunting resort. Okay. Oh, shoot. We're on grass. Okay. So now I'm going to push off to the right side. Man, I'm super excited for the mods to come out around snow plowing. Snow blowers, snow plows, truck snow plows, especially. That'll be fun. So as you can see here, I'm not even going like a full length at all, but it's pushing it really good even at high speeds. It's not bouncing. I think once you start piling up a ton of snow, you know, you get a full snow blade length of snow and you're really pushing it hard. Then the snow blade starts to bounce a lot, it seems like. Okay, we'll do one more pass through here. <laughs> we should be good. Dude, this would be crazy if we got like a couple more people on here. We did a lot of snow plowing at once. I want to get to the construction company and then buy some snowplow equipment and then just go off of that to do like our snow plowing. That'd be kind of cool. Squad Construction Co. over there where we built the pool, stuff like that. We pretty much already have the equipment. So then I could just get snow plows from and we'd be solid. Yeah, I'm going to push this all the way back through the grass here. As you can see, we got a lot of snow pushed through here. So I'm going to head back to the shop and then I'm going to get out the... Uh, Actually, I'll take the Duramax out first, and I want to see how it does in the snow. Just because this is a ton of snow. It's always cool. Just push the trucks. We might need some chains, even. That'll be fun. Okay, Magnum is back. There we go. I don't want to shut off my lights because it takes forever. I have to press the home button, then I got my shader menu and stuff. It's just, I need to somehow fix that. But we're going to start up the Duramax. This is honestly, this was a sleeper on me. I, I've had this truck in my mods folder forever. And Artist Jack sent to me, this truck is a beauty, dude. I love this. On RCC, this is definitely going to be one of the main trucks. Okay, how does she do, man? So far, it looks good. I love how it's not just like... A big giant boulder of snow that it goes over it kind of plows its way through the snow if you know what I mean sometimes in farm sim like if you go over like these yeah like here for example is it gonna just like go over it like this is a sheet of ice like an ice ball right here or is it gonna kind of plow through the snow like it would in real life where it just okay it's kind of like a boulder right now oh shoot <laughs> come on there we go but that's kind of cool though that's how it'd be it kind of it, and it does kind of push down some of it. Come on. <laughs> oh, shoot. We're stuck. Back her up. We need a bigger lift on this truck, man. He's having a tough time getting over that. We'll just stay on the street. But eventually... I'm going to take a left here. If I can get some speed. Come on. <laughs> there we go. Around the open. We're free. Okay, you can see it creates tracks right here. Nice. Look at those tracks. And I like how you can't go flying. Right now I can only go 30 mile an hour. I'm full throttle. It's not even letting me go any faster. Also, I'll send you guys a link to the to the map I'm on. It's called... It might be called Funny... It's not called Funny Farm. I thought it was called like Hunter Farms or something like that. But I'll send you guys a link. Because you have to have a seasons ready map. If you are to do it. But here we are. Adventuring over here. I wonder if I can get any more snow like if I keep going through spring I can get any more snow on the ground any more snow and it's 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 kind of too much snow like to plow and stuff This is perfect amount the dare max man. Look at that Can't wait till we get a plow attachment under here get like a boss plow on here. Oh, that'll just be perfect But anyways guys, this is gonna be the end of the video I also do plan on trying to stream later tonight if you guys are wondering um, I don't know what it'll be. Maybe it'll be some more snow plowing and some more messing around with seasons. I have no idea yet, but I'm going to see if I can't get that done and just look out for a stream being scheduled. So 
Thanks for watching, guys. Hey, I'll see you guys later. Thanks, guys.